indicators, loved by some, hated by others. But the reality is that sometimes they can be your best trading partners. They are a simple product of complex mathematical equations, which can make trading decisions without emotions. So, when we look at the statistics and find out that over 90% of traders lose money in the markets and one of the reasons is due to a lack of emotional management, then perhaps using indicators can make the difference between defeat and success. Now, the big question. Does more indicators mean more profit? My name is Aldo Trade Pro, and I don't like to answer questions without having a solid statistical basis behind them. So, in today's video, I'm going to do one of the biggest studies ever seen on YouTube. And, at the end of this video, we'll find out the answer to this big question. Roll the intro! As you could see by the title of the video, I will create a trading bot that will use 10 different indicators to make trading decisions. Yes, you heard right, 10 indicators. There are 4 major types of indicators, momentum, trend, volume and volatility indicators, and my bot will have access to all these types of indicators. In order to make this video more interactive, I will only use the indicators most used by you, who are on that side watching my video. For that, I will ask my friend ChatGPT which indicators are most used by traders. I'm going to ask for the top 20 so I can make a diverse choice later. As we could see, these are the 20 indicators most used by traders. Now I'm going to select 10 of them. I'm going to choose the moving average, the relative strength index, the stochastic, the MACD, the ADX, the parabolic SAR, the Arun indicator, the check-in, the ATR and the volume indicator. If you have never heard of any of these indicators, I will leave a link in the description of this video that will take you to my script that has the definition of all of them. Let's now insert the indicators in the platform that I will use to carry out this great study, TradingView. After logging into your TradingView account, by the way, if you want to earn $30 just by creating a new account, use the link that is in the description, you can thank me later. You should click on this tab that says Indicators. And now let's search by the indicators one by one to insert them into our graphic. The first one will be the MACD and the settings that I will use are the default ones, 12, 26 and 9 with EMAs. Next I will look for the moving average which will be an exponential one, in which I will use a length of 200. I will also change its color to white and increase its thickness a little bit. Now I'm going to insert the parabolic SAR. The settings to be used will be the default ones, but I will change the color of the dots to yellow and increase their size. Then I will insert the Arun indicator and the settings to be used are the default ones, that is a length of 14. Then I will insert the RSI and stochastic RSI indicators and the settings of both are also the default ones, I will not change anything. Regarding the volume, I'm going to insert this indicator called Hokai Volume by AMonkey which is exactly the same as the usual volume indicator. The only difference is that it has a moving average in its configuration that will be useful for us to know when there is enough volume on the market. The settings to be used are also the default ones, 200, 20 and 3.6, but I will change the colors of the bars to blue and change the color of the moving average to yellow. We are almost done, there are only 3 indicators left. The next one is the shaking money flow, also in default mode. Then the ADX indicator, where I will only insert a line at the value 20 of its histogram to know when there is great volatility in the market. And finally, let's insert the ATR indicator with the default settings too. Let's now quickly talk about the roles of each indicator. The ATR indicator will be used for the strategy risk management. The MACD will be used to give us the entry signals. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it is considered a long signal, and when it crosses below it, it is considered a short signal. And all other indicators will be used for confirming the MACD entry signals. In a minute, I will tell you how. I will quickly code these 10 indicators into my trading bot, and I will be right back. One eternity later. It's done. Therefore, for a valid long entry signal, 
First, the MACD has to give a long signal, and now let's look at each of the confirmation indicators. First, the price has to be above the 200 exponential moving average, the parabolic SAR dots have to be below the price, the Arun upper line, which is the orange one, has to be above the lower line, which is the blue one, the RSI, which is the purple line, has to be above the RSI based moving average, the yellow one, the stochastic K line, which is the blue one, has to be above the D line, the orange one, the volume bar has to be above the moving average, which tells us that there is a high volume in the market, the shaking money flow has to be above the zero level, and the ADX value has to be greater than 20. If all these conditions are met, the bot will open a long position and will use for the stop losses the value of 2 times the ATR pip value, and the take profit will be on the 1 to 1.5 risk reward zone. In this example, on the GBP Swiss franc chart, the stop loss is 2 times 17.7, which is the ATR pip value, and which is 35.4 and the take profit is 53.1 pips away from the entry point. To create a trade with a 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio. As you can see, this trade was an easy winner. For a valid short signal, first the MACD has to give a short signal. Now let's look at each of the confirmation indicators. The price has to be under the 200th exponential moving average, the parabolic SAR dots have to be above the price, the Arun upper line has to be under the lower line, the RSI has to be below the RSI based moving average, the stochastic K line has to be below the D line, the volume bar has to be again above the moving average, the shaking money flow has to be under the zero level and the ADX value has again to be greater than 20. If all these conditions are met, the bot will open a short position with the same risk management criteria. In this example, on the USD Japanese yen chart, the stop loss is 2 times 45.1, which is 90.2, and the take profit is 135.3 pips away from the entry point. To carry out this study, I will backtest 20 different assets in the forex, crypto, stocks, and metals markets. I will use the 1 hour time frame, a 2% risk per trade, and I will analyze the sample with data from the years 2020, 2021 and 2022. Doing this backtest manually will be quite exhausting, as there are a lot of data and indicators to analyze. But with my trading bot, this process becomes extremely easy. And the best part is that the results calculated by it are as accurate as possible. So without further ado, let's put my bot into action. After analyzing over 3,700 trades in the sample mentioned earlier with my backtesting bot, here we have all the results. The overall win rate of this strategy was about 42.42% and it produced a profit of almost 120%. This gives us an average profit per year of around 40%. Although the strategy was profitable, I think it is not very efficient. As it is a very exhaustive strategy, due to having many indicators to be analyzed, I would expect greater profitability and a win rate much higher than 42%. So the answer to the question, does more indicators mean more profit, is, based on this study, no. Indicators are indeed quite powerful tools, but they have to be used wisely. 
I'm currently building a great series on my channel called Building a Winning Trading Strategy Step by Step. And in each episode I'm revealing to you, without bullshit, all the secrets used by professional traders when creating highly efficient and profitable trading strategies. And no, using 10 indicators is not the secret. If you are a beginner or even an advanced trader looking to take the next leap in your trading career, then I guarantee this series will be the best series you have ever seen in your life. I'm currently changing the lives of a lot of traders who are raising their trading skills with the information I share in every episode that I release, and you could be the next one. The links to the episodes of this amazing series are in the description. Also, if you want, you can access this trading bot with 10 indicators, so you can perform your backtests with thousands of trades with the most real and proven results possible, and in a matter of seconds, which, by the way, is 100% customizable. You can turn on or off the indicators as you wish, so with this bot you can have unlimited trading options. In the description there is a link with more information about this and all my other trading bots. So check it out and start backtesting strategies like a professional trader. And that's it for today. I hope you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe, share and like it to support me in bringing more content to you. Be well, thank you, bye bye.